Hi, my name is Mohamed Sahail and welcome to our presentation on Omnima 3D, associating objects and their effects in unconstrained monocular video. Given a casual monocular video, along with input mask as well as depth, our method outputs a layer representation, consisting of one layer for background and one layer each for the puppy and person along with their respective shadows. Such a representation proves useful in various applications such as object removal. Here, we show rendering of the input video with the person removed on the left and puppy removed on the right. Another application is synthetic defocus. Here, we show the video with the camera focused on the dog. Last but not least, such a representation can be useful for camera stabilization. Here, we show a shaky video on the left with the stabilized results from our method in the middle and results from NSFF on the right. The problem of automatically associating objects with their effects was introduced in Omnimat. Omnimat and follow-up work such as Neural Atlas rely on mapping to a 2D canvas to learn a model to decompose an input video into layers. Such a modeling, however, limits their applicability to a set of constrained camera motion. Here, we show the output from a frame from the dancing walk video. Due to the type of camera motion, Omnimat and Neural Atlas struggle to produce meaningful layers where Omnimat predicts all the information in the object layer. The method introduced in this paper is able to accurately decompose the layers and capture the shadow in the layer corresponding to the person. To relax the assumption on the camera motion, our method predicts the layer on a per frame basis without grounding to a global canvas. Specifically, given an input frame along with input mask as, the, as well as depth, we first estimate the complement of the union of the foreground mask. We then multiply the mask with the input RGB and depth to obtain masked inputs. Features from these inputs along with the mask are obtained using a shared feature extractor. These features are then fed into a background prediction network that predicts the in-painted background RGB as well as depth. Similarly, for the foreground prediction, we multiply the input mass for the object with the RGB and depth to obtain the masked inputs. These are fed into the same feature extractor followed by a foreground network that predicts the foreground RGB as well as alpha layers. Note, the foreground prediction includes the longboard associated with the person, which is not accounted for in the input mask. Here, we show an overview of the model. We use separate networks for each foreground layer to allow for easier association of objects and their effects. Since our model predicts the layers on a per frame basis without any global static canvas, the problem of layer decomposition becomes severely ill-posed, as variations in the frame can be explained by changes in the background or foreground, or both background and foreground. To resolve this ambiguity, we incorporate a projection consistency loss. To compute the projection consistency loss, we first estimate a frame triplet based on a heuristic discussed in the paper. Given these frames, we obtain their predicted background RGB and depths. We then project two of these predictions to the frame in the middle. The projection loss is then estimated as the mean square difference between the predicted background versus the projected background RGBs. Since estimating the consistency loss requires projecting from one frame to another, we need to incorporate a differentiable rendering framework. Given an RGB prediction along with the depth, we first estimate a mesh by projecting the pixel coordinates into world space using the predicted depth values. The attributes of the mesh are set based on the RGB and alpha values for the pixels. Given this mesh, we then use a differentiable rasterizer to project the frames to target cameras. In addition to the projection consistency loss, we use a number of loss terms to learn the model. These include the reconstruction loss, which estimate the mean square error between the reconstructed frame and the ground truth frame. The frame reconstruction is obtained by back to front compositing of the predicted layers. Additionally, to guide the layers to be semantically meaningful, we add an L1 loss between the predicted alpha and the input masks. We add a disparity loss to distill the available depth information into the model using a loss term as shown here. The first term corresponds to the complement of the union of all input masks that approximately indicate the background region. The second term is the input depth 
and the last term is the predicted background depth. Finally, we incorporate regularizations on the alpha predictions to prevent degenerate solutions, where all the details are captured in the foreground layer. We use a regularization term shown here, where the first term is an L1 sparsity loss and the second term is an approximate L0 loss. We show results for layer decomposition for our model and compare against Omnimat. Here, we show the decomposition on two videos from the Davis dataset. For the scooter video, Omnimat is unable to accurately represent the background using a 2D canvas and has to capture the background details in the foreground layer. On the snowboard video, the results generated by Omnimat have background details captured in the foreground layer. Our method faithfully decomposes the foreground object and its effect from the background. Finally, to show the importance of projection consistency loss, we perform an ablation. Here, we show comparison between results generated without the consistency loss and the full method. Without the projection consistency, the in-painting of the occluded region fails as there is no reconstruction signal for that region. Thank you for listening. For more details and results, please refer to our paper.